Hi, my name is Yasmina and this is Hidden Jewel Travels. Today I'm staying in my hometown Ljubljana and I'm inviting you to join me at the walk through Old City Center. I'm at Shustarski Most or Shoemaker's Bridge. It is called that way because of the shoemakers that used to have their workshops here in the past. Even today, here we can find a last shoemaker that will make you shoes on the old-fashioned way. Ljubljana is full of little charming restaurants or places to just sit down, chill and have a nice cup of coffee. interesting thing to me is that even though I've been living here in Ljubljana all my life and I've worked and visited high school and partied and basically did everything here in old city center it still feels kind of vacational to me you know like relax and everything will be just fine Another thing that I really love in Ljubljana is its greenery. Besides, of course, the very special architectural features created by Joze Plitnik, the greenery is the thing that gives Ljubljana this special charm in every time of the year. Dr. Franze Preciran was Slovenian's greatest poet who also wrote Slovenian national anthem. He was madly in love with a woman called Julia, but she didn't care about him. When his statue was placed here at the Preciran Square, they faced him towards Julia's home and formed her at her window.
legend of Ljubljana's dragon can be traced to the legend of Jason and the Argonauts. Jason was a Greek hero who stole a golden fleece from the king of the Black Sea. They escaped on their ship Argo and arrived in Ljubljana. As it was winter, they decided to spend it here, so they came across a large lake and marshes where a terrible swamp monster lived. This monster, the dragon, was heroically killed by Jason in a battle. Jason is supposed to be the first Ljubljana resident. this a bit funny but another thing that I think it's really important is the cleanliness of the city. In Ljubljana city center we have little trash cans all over the place. You can find many doggy bags and even public toilets here. So Ljubljana city center really is a clean place. There are three other really interesting places here in Ljubljana city center and that are Park Tivoli, Ljubljana castle with events and exhibitions going on and alternative center Metilkova Misto with really beautiful graffiti, everything worth to see. But because I cannot do everything in one movie, I invite you to visit my channel Hidden Jewel Travels and find those three other movies I have already made. Uh, Park Tivoli, Ljubljana Castle and Metilkova Misto. Okay, so this was it for today. Thank you for joining me on my walk through Ljubljana city center. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks, ciao!